guys, welcome back to the House of Hughes. The kids and I just walked in the door from our morning walk. It is amazing, Hunter and I spent the entire day yesterday laying out because the weather has just been the best it's been all year in Utah. So glad we're finally in summer. I'm seriously burnt to a crisp, especially on my back. I have like the worst tan lines. So we're gonna try and even that out a little bit, but we did have a great little walk. The kids are about to go down for their nap. And yesterday we actually spent the holiday, it was Memorial Day at my in-laws house and it was so much fun I got the cutest clips Blakely literally rode a scooter for the first time so I was dying and you know that Kate had to help me get some footage so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that for you guys right here I want to be daring baby dance the night away I let my head down if I won don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Also, do you hear Beckham's little squealing chasing Chloe around? So, so cute. But Beckham also got a fun new toy from Nani this morning because she came over to babysit while Hunter and I were at the gym. We were actually supposed to go start our process of hopefully getting Medicaid for Beckham. I'm gonna dive a little deeper into that later in today's video. It ended up canceling, so that was kind of a bummer. I'll share the details on that in a second. But I wanna show you guys the new toy that Beckham got this morning as well. Okay, Grandma brought a toy over for Beckham. And it's this little toy that kind of vibrates. <laughs> and so it's interacting with Beckham and he loves it. <laughs> He's grabbing it and holding it. <laughs> He's loving it. <laughs> okay, show me, what do I press? It's the red button. Right there? Uh -huh. Gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> 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 he like tackles it. That's so cute. Oh, sorry, Bubba's. Yeah, that's not as fun. Two hands, good job, folks. He loves hearing the sound of it fall. <laughs> You're so cute, folks. Oh, that's so cute. The kids are down for their nap. I got in the shower, I got ready for the day because I had a couple little sponsorships that I need to film, which I am so, so grateful and feel so blessed for. So that was really exciting and really fun because it was products that I'm obsessed with, but now your girl is starving. So you guys, 
Have you seen the Ninja Creamy going crazy? I need you to comment down below immediately if you bought the Ninja Creamy because Hunter and I were like, no, we're not gonna get it. And then TikTok, oh, it just, the chokehold that it has on me, you guys. I bought it, I couldn't help myself, and I'm obsessed with it. We've been testing it out the past few days, and there's definitely a learning curve, I'm not gonna lie. There's totally a learning curve, but I'm going to make a little strawberry creamy. I think I'm gonna mix in cake batter bites. I'm so excited. We've been doing a lot of chocolate recipes. They're so good. Here's what I think, here's what I think. I think you have to have pudding in like your mixture. That's kind of like my gut feeling. This one, the strawberry one, does not have pudding in it. So we'll see if it turns out okay, but the ones that I have for tonight do have pudding in them, which should work out well. I just used Fairlife for like basically all of them. You guys, this is not an ad. If this was an ad, I would be in my grave because I'd be so excited that Ninja wanted to work with me. <laughs> but I'm just really excited about this. And you guys know I'm a foodie, so I gotta show you the snack I'm gonna make. But it basically is like protein ice cream. That's what I'm making, the Ninja cream. It makes ice cream basically so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll show you guys how it turns out But I have high hopes also. I promise I'm gonna talk to you guys about Medicaid That's what we're gonna do while we're having a little snack. Don't let me down. I think I'm barely in this frame I am NOT a professional. I'm still figuring this out, but we'll do our best Okay, just got done. Here is my moment of truth. It always needs respun, which basically means you just always have to like add liquid and click the respin button. So I'm sure we'll need to do that, yeah. So this is what it looks like. So it's just kind of a little bit powdery right now. So we will add some liquid and then we will respin it. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of almond milk. It's gonna go like this. What I say, a little, I mean, kind of a lot. I'm tempted to throw some pudding mix in there, but I don't think I'm supposed to, so I'm not gonna do that. And if it flops, it flops, it's okay. I have ones with pudding mixes in the fridge. Take two. Okay, shoot. So it came out like all snowy and powdery again. And I think the biggest reason for this is because there's not pudding in here. So I'm gonna like scrape the sides because I saw someone on TikTok do that. And then we're gonna re-spin it even more. Okay, so I feel like it's already flopping. So I'm like, what the heck? I'm just gonna like try random stuff. I'm gonna add some swerve into it. This is like zero calorie sweetener. So I'm just gonna add like a bit of that. And then I'm literally just gonna throw in some sugar-free jello and see if it works adding it after the fact. So we'll see. Dude, you guys, I was so excited. I didn't even film this, but I literally fixed it. Like you can add pudding after the fact and it fixes the consistency. That is so crazy. Like literally look at this right now. Look at this. I need to get a better angle. Okay, I hope this is focused, but literally look at that, you guys. Actual ice cream. Are you kidding me? Not to mention it freaking tastes amazing. Mmm. It's literally strawberry cheesecake. But you have to have like that sweetener in it. For me at least. Oh my word, this is so good. You are kidding me. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix in cake balls. You know the favorite day birthday cake balls? Okay, so I chopped a few up. We're gonna mix these in and I think maybe some white chocolate chips. I think I have some. Dang it, did Blakely eat them all? Oh no, come through, okay. We've got some white chocolate chips, so I'm thinking that will be perfect. I am literally so excited about this, you guys. I have no idea. So then I'll just break a few of these up, add in the little cake balls, and we will have perfect ice cream that is basically all protein, except for the mix-ins. Mommy ate her ice cream, and look who's awake! Baba, are you awake, my hand top? Yeah, you want to grab. Oh my goodness, someone's hungry. Okay, while I feed Beckham, I actually want to tell you guys the real reason that Beckham is actually not on Medicaid and why he is on our private insurance. This is one of the biggest and most common questions that I get when I'm talking about, you know, just the reality of how expensive it is to be a special needs family. Of course, every expense is worth absolutely every penny, but of course it can be financially very taxing. Thing. Of course, when I share this, you guys are so sweet and so helpful and all of you were like, wait a second, why isn't Beckham on Medicaid? And I have to be honest, I was so naive 
and totally misunderstood Medicaid. And I just want to say thank you so much to every single one of you who implanted the idea of Medicaid in my brain over and over again. Because what had originally happened is when Beckham was born and he was in the NICU, Beckham was on Medicaid because he was not in our home. So he technically had his own income per se. When Beckham was discharged from the NICU in September of 2019, he was then kicked off of Medicaid because of our income. Now, in order to qualify for Medicaid, the income for the household is quite low. And so most families don't qualify for Medicaid if they have a two income household, which Hunter and I personally do have a two income household. You know, we both work, but Medicaid is an absolutely phenomenal option for those who do not have the privilege or ability to have a two income household. And for those who need that extra financial help with medical bills, which is absolutely amazing. When Beckham was kicked off Medicaid, you know, we just were disqualified, but that was right when Beckham got home from the NICU and he was not diagnosed with cerebral palsy until January of 2020. So I had actually never reflected on the fact that we had never applied for Medicaid when he had a lifelong disability because when he was kicked off Medicaid, I explained his complications at birth and all of the things that he had been diagnosed with up to that point and nothing was lifelong. And so we didn't qualify even with his medical conditions. And so I always thought when people would mention, but he should medically qualify because of his disability. I was always in the mindset of, well, they already told me that, you know, he didn't qualify even with his medical condition without actually reflecting back and putting that timeline together of, oh, he had not yet been diagnosed with cerebral palsy. And cerebral palsy, as you guys know, is a lifelong disability that has no cure. We were blessed enough to have so many people encouraging us to reapply for Medicaid that Hunter and I actually just got in contact with the office that's near where we live and have an agent who is helping us through that process. So our hope and manifestation is that this handsome little guy will be on Medicaid as quickly as possible. And we have been told that he will definitely meet the criteria and requirements to be an exception, even though he would otherwise not qualify. So that is super exciting. Are you saying hi to your friends? And it would just be completely life-changing for us. Like so life-changing because it has been, you know, very difficult financially but I don't like to talk about that in front of him because he is perfect and I would give up my whole world for him. My whole world, huh? You so worth it. You are so perfect and sweet. Yeah, sorry, am I bugging you? But I'm just so excited to explore that option and see what comes of it. So we actually had an appointment that we were supposed to go to this morning and unfortunately it got canceled, but we should be able to reschedule that and get in as quickly as possible. Fortunately, Hunter is taking care of all of those logistics for me. I will be sure to keep you guys updated the second we hear anything and the second we get an update or a qualification because I know that so many of you have just been so sweet and so kind about Beckham's medical insurance and all of his needs. And I'm just so grateful for you guys. So I wanted to update you because I thought a lot of you would be really excited and really happy because so many of you recommended Medicaid to us and told us that we should give it another go, which we are doing right now. So that is the update on Medicaid. I'm going to get this cute little guy fed and then we need to go get his sister up because she is definitely awake from her nap. She has actually not been sleeping super great. So she's been extra tired lately and she finally got in like a really good chunk of sleep last night and for her nap today. So hopefully she's back on her regular schedule, but I think she'll be really excited to see you guys. It's like we haven't filmed in forever since I've been out of town. The kids want to play in the backyard. As you can hear, Beckham is begging to go outside right now. He wants me to get his little lawn chair and he has just been vibing in that and loves it so much. Oh baby. He's like, mom, let's go. But that's all I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. I am proud to say I have been the most present I've ever been with my kids lately and it's been the best feeling in the world. So I'm gonna soak up this time with them and let them play until bedtime out in the backyard and soak up the sun. Beckham, do you wanna say bye? It's kinda of sad right now because he wants mommy to go get his chair out of mommy's car. Here, baby. Why don't you say goodbye to your friends? I'm sure they would love to see you. Say hi. Oh, you're so sweet, you love the camera. Yeah, I'm gonna go get it right now. I'm gonna go get it for him right now. <laughs> Soft child. <laughs> You're so cute. I know, he's like, mommy, go get it for me. But we love you guys, we want to remind you, 
to be brave like Beckham. And we'll catch you in our next vlog. Bye! Can you blow a kiss? Ready? <gasps>